Fujifilm has been releasing high-performing APS-C cameras in the market and leading the APS-C camera market for quite some time. As it doesn't have a full-frame lineup, Fujifilm puts a lot of emphasis on its APS-C lineup. And to get itself one step ahead of the competition, Fujifilm has announced the development of a stacked BSI APS-C sensor. So how is this sensor going to improve the performance of Fujifilm's upcoming APS-C camera? And why Fujifilm is going after the stacked BSI APS-C sensor? All these will be discussed in the video. So with that being said, let's jump in. Fujifilm has been using the BSI sensor in its X-series APS-C cameras. For example, the Fujifilm X-T4 featured a BSI APS-C sensor. Now, what are the benefits of a BSI sensor? Well, a BSI or backside illuminated sensor improves the light sensitivity of your camera. It gives a superb low light performance. Besides, you can crank up the ISO number crazy high and still get usable footage. Now, as the Fujifilm X-Series features APS-C sensors, which are comparatively smaller than the full-frame ones and delivers a lesser amount of data per frame. But with the stacked sensor, the upcoming Fujifilm APS-C cameras is going to perform even faster. But how is it? Well, the sensor used in a camera has two primary tasks. First, capturing light, and second, processing the light. Typical sensors have one layer construction and all the tasks are done within that single layer. But with the stack design, the sensor is divided into two layers. The first layer collects the light and the second layer processes it. And to make the processing blazing fast, the sensor also includes a tiny RAM. And as the processing is done separately in a different layer, there is more space left out in the light collecting layer which can be filled by more megapixels. So, a stacked sensor not only increases the speed but also allows for incorporating more pixels into it. So now we have understood both the BSI and stacked sensor and the combination would result in faster speed, super blue light performance and so on. But the question is, what does it mean for Fujifilm? Does it need that high performing camera? And the short answer is, yes. The first reason is that Fujifilm will celebrate the 10 years of the X-Series by launching a flagship APS-C camera. And it's not just about the celebration, there are many strategic considerations too. Fujifilm is currently ruling the APS-C camera market with the fantastic X-Series cameras, but others are not sitting idle. Canon has been lagging behind with their EOS M lineup, but recently, there are rumors that it will launch EOS R7 which would be the first R-Series APS-C camera capable of using RF mount lenses which are currently the best lenses of Canon. If true, then it will be a massive attack on the customer base of Fujifilm X-Series cameras. Besides, when you're in a leading position, you need to always innovate before your competitors, right? So what Fujifilm is going for is not just a 10-year celebration, but a competitive move to stay solid in the market. And as the sensor is totally going to be a new one in the upcoming Fujifilm APS-C camera, we expect that it will also feature a new processor. So we expect to get a faster autofocus performance and improve stabilization. So what might be the name of this upcoming camera? Our speculations say it's not going to be Fujifilm X-T4 Mark II as it will be very different performance-wise from what we have seen in the X-T4. So it might be named as the Fujifilm X-T5 and we expect to get it in our hands within the first quarter of 2022 as the first Fujifilm X camera, the X100, came into the market in March of 2011. So that was all about the Fujifilm BSI stacked APS-C sensor. This sensor is going to give a competitive edge to the upcoming Fujifilm APS-C cameras. We expect it would have capabilities for both photography and videography. The high resolution would make it a landscape camera while its fast performance would prove its worth in sports and wildlife. So what are your thoughts about the upcoming Fujifilm flagship APS-C camera? Let us know in the comments section.